Alright, hey everyone, I have a few things to talk about, just some general housekeeping if you will on how better to use my channel, how to get the most out of it. First being is that you can translate my videos, a couple of you have been asking, actually many of you have been asking how to translate into your own language, and you can translate them for any video that I've done a voiceover for. I upload the transcript that I use to read for the voiceover onto YouTube so it'll have my actual words on there. If it's a sit down video like this, then it will just kind of guess what I'm saying. YouTube will guess what I'm saying. Either way, you can translate and I have a separate video on showing you how you can actually translate. Um, another thing is that in my description box, I put timestamps for all of my full sewing tutorials or really any tutorial that takes longer than, I don't know, three, four minutes. If it's a hand embroidered video that's only a minute or two long, I'm not going to put a time uh, timestamps in the description box. Um, but any full sewing, sewing tutorial, can barely talk today. We'll have timestamps in there because if your life is like mine, it's very hard to sit down and do a project from start to finish. So if you left off at the collars or attaching the sleeve or whatever, look in that description box and see where to go to in that video. Another thing that's great in that description box is I try as best as I possibly can to link everything in the description box below. So if you're curious on where the pattern is or where the fabric came from or whatever, look in that description box first. Now of course I am a busy mama so I have mommy brain and I have limited time, I make mistakes, all that sort of stuff. So if you've looked in there and you can't see what you're looking for, by all means leave me a comment and I will I will get back with you. Um, but please look in there first before I I get you know a bunch of emails on asking for things that I've already done <laughs> and um, the lastly is okay I get I get about hmm maybe like 20% 15% people saying please slow down and the rest of the people saying they like my concise videos you can't please everybody I also like my concise videos. If you don't like my concise videos, then go on to Patreon. I'm doing very slow, in-depth videos over there. Six dollars a month gets you kind of slow on sewing tutorials. Anywho, or what you can do is you can go to YouTube and on that gear you can um, slow down that particular video. It's going to make my voice sound like crazy, you know, that slow motion, whatever. But uh, you can select, so one is at real time or whatever speed I've up uploaded it to and then it'll allow you to go down by quarters um, until you get to a quarter mark. So you can select whatever speed you like. And that's about it. So I hope this video was helpful. If y'all have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, say we appreciate you for watching and we hope to catch you next time. Mwah.